Hi, this is John from TrackSpec Motorsports. We're here today to talk about one of our newest products, the C7 Corvette four-point bolt-in roll bar. Let's take a look. So some of the key features that make this one of the best roll bars for a C7 Corvette is the fact that they're frame mounted, a true four point frame mount bolt-in roll bar for the C7. If you wanna take a look here, we have four points of mounting uh, for the main hoop, and we also have a 90 on the bottom there so that we distributed the load to the bottom of the car, but also to the side of the B pillar, which is actually bolted to the side of the frame. We're one of the only roll bars uh, that manufacture a roll bar that actually bolts to the frame and not just the floor area because the floor is very weak. So we incorporate the frame, the B pillar, and also our exclusive mounting area for the rear here where we use the same uh, engineering and design with our billet aluminum plates in the rear to perfectly match the contours of the frame. And then we use through bolts that go through the bottom with uh, backing plates and aluminum machine backing plates actually to contour to the frame perfectly. And then we include a closeout plate here to seal the area off from getting any gas or type of noise. What we've done here is you can take some uh, expanding foam and then spray into the area there so that it'll close up and seal up any holes there. And then we're gonna go over after that with some black RTV to f finish it nicely. So you can see some other features here. We have our diagonal crossbar here, um, also diagonal on the main hoop. Um, this rear section here is detachable and that's super critical for making this a, an easy install. So when you get the kit, you're gonna get the kit fully welded, fully powder coated, and it's gonna have two rear kickers and a diagonal section that are separated using these ballistic uh, connectors here. So very strong setup and easy to assemble. Uh, it can be installed with one person, but preferably having a helping hand is always a, a benefit. So uh, another feature that we have is the fact that we bring the bar, the main hoop, as high and as close to the car as possible. So one thing to take note about this C7 cage designed here is the fact that we built this cage without the interior in mind, meaning these, the B, B pillar sections here, they can be cut and fitted back, uh, but it's gonna be kind of limited to how much space, because we wanted to maximize the space and headroom of this vehicle, over this, of this roll cage for the vehicle. So we took the headliner out, removed the B-pillar plastics so that we can burn it as high and as tight as possible for rear revision, um, and we're able to get the bar very high and run it along the, the pillars of the car for a very nice tight fit. All cages come uh, powder coated, unless requested otherwise, you can, uh, request them raw without any coating whatsoever. Um, but uh, powder coating is included in the price. Another cool feature is where the placement of our diagonal bar here gives a little extra space to have a passenger seat in here. So we test fit passenger seats in here without any issues. You can move them pretty far back. I'd say almost all the way back, um, depending on the size of the seat. So you don't lose any passenger side uh, seat clearance, as well as driver. If you take a look here, We've got the main hoop back far enough and to give a nice gap here. This seat here, I'm 5'9", and I cannot currently, I can barely get the clutch pedal all the way to the ground. So I would actually move this seat up about two and a half inches or maybe two inches or so. Um, as somebody that's 5'9", to be in race position, this is where I'd want to be. So figure if you're 5'10", 5 5'11", 5 this is where the seat would probably end up. And if you're taller than that, you can take a look in the back and see how much room you have to go. And again, a lot of that variation is, is the seat style. This one has the wraparound style with the halo, so it's gonna take a little more space up, but it also has this lip that extends back. And a lot of these Sparco seats and other seats don't have this lip that fold back like that. So you're gonna be able to get the seat pretty far back. So I would estimate if you're anywhere between 6'2 and 6'3 would probably be the limit 
of where uh, height wise you can get the seat back. But again, it all depends on the seat. You can get a smaller seat in there and get move it even further back. But the way we designed this bar is that it maximizes the amount of space allowed for a driver, but also doesn't compromise the safety of the vehicle in a rollover by leaning the, the uh, roll bar too far back. So it's within our limits that we're comfortable with. Um, and we didn't want to go any further back with it because it kind of defeats the purpose of a roll cage when you do that. So um, lots of adjustability, forward and backwards, no issues with uh, side space. They're tucked super tight to the B pillar, super tight with rear revision uh, to the roof of the car. And again, this current one that we have available is made for cars that have some of the panels taken out. You should be able to put some back in, but again, it's very tight to the car in order to get the most amount of space out of it. So uh, we truly believe that this is one of the best roll bars on the market for a C7 Corvette. Um, you know, taking a, look out, taking a look out there, I don't really see anything that really compares to what we have done in, with the frame mounting and the billet aluminum plates um, and the through bolts that are true uh, frame bolt-on solutions that installs this easily with all the features with the closeout panels and the rear view vision and the tightness to the car. So give us a call with any questions. These are going to be available in about two weeks. Um, so yeah, check us out, TrackSpec Motorsports.